don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. What a start. Ah, lovely. Either petals or blood coming off of the ceiling. Come on, my dude, you can get up. I think I found, I found the source of the liquid trail. Tinderbox. Get out of here. Uh, take the light. Get. Never know. Oh, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh, there went that tinder box. Here, I reckon. And now I'm gonna push on that door again just because I can. Never mind. Nice and cozy fire. Off of the chair. What was that? <sighs> like every video game, you gotta go towards it. Go this way, is that what it's telling me? Yeah, I'm not gonna follow it. Make my own story. I got a chair. Alright. I got a chair. You know, my luck, I'm gonna die. Oh, 
Ah, like Resident Evil Deja Vu all over again. Oh good, a slight headache, some tender box to spoil. All right. I don't want to go in there. That door opened. I'm gonna close one of those doors just in case I get attacked. There's no point in going in this room. slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tree. So gonna die. I am so gonna die. All right, I need to find a light soon. Pushed around. Oh, my guy is going crazy. I don't, I don't really blame him. Well, what do I do? Did I miss something? Surely not. I want to go back there. Ah, I'm not going crazy no more. <laughs> oh, 
wonder how I get up there. Guess I could probably try to build up, but who knows how long that would take. It's locked, it won't open. Alright. So a key on the ground I missed. I don't know what to do. Oh. Alright. I wasted all that tinder boxes just to find a lantern. Alright. Alright, let's grab that. Throw it just because I can. I'm supposed to stick a book in there. I can't grab on anything. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, let's follow all the pedals. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Ah, thank you. At least I get an iteration in it. I don't like to read this stuff. Potion! I uh, don't want to know what was in that. Ow! Oh. Sacred bookcase! I'm kind of curious how much better this game would be on an Xbox Two trailer. Just put my lantern away. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... what did you call it? The Inner Sanctum. 
My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Archives, archives, or something like that. Can't go there. Ow. Should figure that I'm jumping off from like a really high foothill. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's just say Fabrica. It doesn't look like I'm going through there. Alright, I'm going through there. Guess this door first. Laboratory. Huh. That's... That's... Some... Alright. I gotta stop doing that. Thirsty buddy. Get a bottle. Here, I got you something else to drink. Enjoy. Ah, great re reading. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in the storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Alright. Able to grab anything. All right. This potion. I said this potion. All right, maybe not. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Ah, nice. Tender box. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vite. The former compound lacks the persistency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and Opermint are given, and the culprit binds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua Regina instead of Aqua Fortis in hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiments were or experiments were un, 
was a successful, the solution is highly acid and provides a practical to put to any use except as detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with great care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope I will find an alchemic solution to my pediment. Alright. One day I will return, if it wasn't for the thought of you, my love. I wouldn't be able to go on when I find myself doing terrible things. I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and longs for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for you, them. They just for power without restraints, where I only crave judgment and their safe return. Ah. Oh. No walking. No walking. Four different ingredients are required. I don't have any of those. I threw all the bottles I had. If anything's down there, he's probably thinking, stop throwing stuff at me. Can't go that way. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well into his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel reminded him in something, 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 something. Guess going down. Whee! White sailor. It's locked and it will not open without the key. Alright, good to know. I don't want to get drunk anyways. Alright, door to my left is closed and how about door straight? Archivist. Oh, that doesn't make no sense. I look like a normal light. Liberia Ria. Right, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that last because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die. Don't you hiss at me. I got. Whatever this is. And a book. All right, it's time to die. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again. He told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. And the British Museum. All right. Still alive. Dark bedroom.
I hereby offer my full attention and service to Alexander Barn of the Benjamberg. This contract will rely regen for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. I, in addition, Alexander Barn of Bigenberg is recommended my service at the Pursual Royal Court and witness the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. William House of Grinch. Alright. You go over there. Nothing. Nothing. And we got lucky. Tinderbox. Anything in here? Nope. Can I just move the curtains? I'd save me so much tinder boxes if I could just move the curtains. Alright, left and right, I'm gonna go left. <laughs> the feathers fall so slow. Aw, oh, it's gone. What was that? Let's just close that. Oh, some nice night clothes. More night nothing. Tinderbox. I got this. All right. Seventeenth of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Ah, well, guess that's karma. I don't want to go. Alright, let's go back. Because I could go in this room over here. Just a big hallway with a bunch of pictures. Ah, lovely. Just the room, else just that. Yeah, sort of just that because I just came through there. Study. Oh, lovely. Old tombs. Oh, lovely. I'm not ready to die. Please stop playing the music. You guys just curious why I know to pick up these tender boxes, uh Oh god. I uh, played this on my brother's computer once. Alright. My guy's not dying from poison gas, he's definitely dying from getting overdose on these powder fumes. Alright. It's locked. Alright. 
Where does that go? Local history. Let's actually put this oil in here. No, I'll keep one. Contains a mixture of all sort sorts. This will be a lot easier to carry. Ah! Lovely. Just lovely. Blood. Just what I want to see. It's a bug! I don't need no chair to play. Alright. I apparently can't play. Even better. Alright, at least I know the blueprints of this place. And I'm not going in there. Maps. And more maps. I was blind right now. My guy would definitely be dying. Alright. Just put that toward my turn out for now. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have grabbed that. I'm sorry. Let me live, please. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Floor plans. Alright, I already know the walls. How about the floors now? Ah, nice. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Alright. Is it me or is my way blocked? I remember I could go through here. And this wasn't there before. They changed it on me. Alright. Can I play it now? No, I can't. Alright. Guess I'm gonna have to bash through a wall, huh? Fragile, but not broken by hand. I just broke it with hand. Alright. And I'm not using hands, I'm using gauntlets. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? 
You can never be too careful, that way. I can't see anything. Oh. I don't know. Where's the other one at? Who knew? Pulling on books. Who knew pulling on books would actually help me out in the case? No more knowledge. That key. Well, just go pretend we didn't hear that. William has a uh, William and his fools have endangered my re uh, research long enough with their establishment of handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trustworthy servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail of Bingenberg. I need to lock William and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whether comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will free them. I'll feed them some wine. It should, it would in some sense solve both my problems. Well, at least you're nice. You guys thirsty? Give me some rum. Alright. Door that was not open before. I'm putting a box there. Close that door on me now. Oh. Alright. Oh! Of course! Was I in here before? Oh! What was that? Oh! I don't remember any of these doors were. My doors, uh. Oh. All right. Ow! 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 Okay, I'm sorry. I won't touch the tailor boxes. Run, 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 run. What did I get hit by? Screw you! You and your magical hitting me from the far bullcrap. And I hit myself with the door. I think I could just use a tinder box on that. I know. Let me pick it up. The magical rock. Yeah. Okay. You think I wouldn't go crazy in this? But the matches is already getting to hit. I don't think I've been over here. Ah, oh, the trailer's locked.
Wine cellar, laboratory. Box. I almost missed that. Can't see them, but I'm pretty sure someone's following me. Ah, touch your tools. I don't know. It's not talking. Few bruises and cuts, but I think I'll live. I don't know if the oil is needed, but I'm not going to use too much of it. Ah, what? Darn it. I just wasted my oil on it. Oh, yeah. Definitely be able to move these rocks. Yeah. Alright. Since I'm not going completely crazy no more. Never mind. Alright. I'm outie. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. Look at the beautiful light. Look at the light. Alright. Memos. Alright. So 
So pretty much I need to make the acid. Oh my gosh. My guy dying? If you cut some bruises, why are you acting like that? Oh, yummy! Heal me, me! Guess I got hungry. Alright, let's light a tinderbox. I can't do crap! What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst! Oh. My god, Wilhelm, do something! Except it. We're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Guys, they're just doing their job, and he's gonna kill them for it. Okay, Regina. Story time. My name is William, House of the Grinch. Grinch. These are my final words, my confessions and testament two years ago. I was summoned to the castle of Burgundy. Brandenburg, or I would call it. As most of the stories I was curious about, what this supposed knight of the order could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The Boron was friendly, and he offered me a position. Processing, where do I go? It drawn on me that their nature of the contract was soiled, and the reason I was chosen was because of the forelands of my past, and not the honors I would been rewarded with my during my time as a soldier. I was kidnapped, healthy human, upon this slightest whim, and to do so without asking questions. In return, he would. I ease my attest to my character at the royal court, evading my position with noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came up swiftly as I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since the day I brought men, women, and children to. Burgundy. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even hundreds, none of whom who, where were ever seen or heard of them again. Tonight, Baron invited me and my men down to wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions that as we descended down the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without resist resistance. So beginning the punishment for our sins, Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and I fell into his demotic ways. My men are screaming. Their skins have been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my innards revolving against their God given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer no longer what? Does that mean I'm gonna go blind now? Let's go stay next to the light for a little bit. You're kidding me, right? It sounds like he's right above me. I think I got everything. I got three bottles. What are all that I need? Says that room that was locked. I couldn't go in before. Entrance hall.
Laboratorium. I think I got everything. The cloth smelt of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top of many of them. He thought, and perhaps a few. I think that's what it said. Wait, what? Oh, cool. Alright. Am I the only one that saw that bug? It is crawling on me. My guy is going crazy. Alright, what am I missing? Well, it's just in the right place. Notes, chemical reaction. Alright, let's go back. So I missed something, but what did I miss? So maybe that one door that I couldn't go through? It became impossible to avoid. The communication in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, French soldiers opened fire on two young men fighting back. Their voices were silent in the haze of gun smoke. Is there a door I missed over here? Whee! Ow. I just came from there. And I can't go down there, so I gotta check back upstairs for the potion piece. I want to budge. We need to dry pulling the planks off. Oh, tender box. Thank you. Ow, fuck. Ow, 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 I get the memo. Stay out of there. Alright, I'll go back down here. Back to the... I don't get to know. Back to the... Never mind. I can't go in there yet. But where? Where could it be? I know if it's not down here. I'll check again, but... Then I'll have to go somewhere else. He sat down by the Caspian, while gasping for air, sweat pouring from his forehead onto the sound ground pour void or something. I can't read it. It goes too fast. Good thing I came back here. Tinderbox. I'm sure sooner or later I'm gonna screw myself making too much noise. Oh, what can you do? Take ancestral pots! Ancestral pots!
You don't want to be chained. There we go. Ooh. Uh oh. Use the lantern to increase your health to drink it. Wait. Oh wait, that's not a potion? Alright. I guess I should save that for... Alright, all good. I'm just gonna save it, but I think it best to be not. I know I'm gonna regret if I don't follow him. He went this way for a reason. I just want to know is why am I here? What is that? I guess dust, maybe. I don't know. Bottle challenge. I win. <sighs> it's one. I'm gonna go this way. I've been here before, though. Or at least I hope I have. I knew I missed the door in here. No, I didn't miss a door. There it is. How did I pass that up? Oh! Ow! I should have grabbed it. I should have grabbed it. <laughs> I am so dead. If not, my guys go insanity. Gosh darn it! It just tilled up too. Where's that magical barrel that hit me in the head? How do I get out? Alright. This doesn't seem logical. Let's drag this way. What makes you think I want to go out there now? I'm here I'm walking. Oh, of course, tender box is out. There we go. Eleven.
talk when it can't be used. Can must be prepared using the appropriate parents. It makes no sense. Chemicals tool need to be mixed first. No, duh. The sample is not needed. Well, you just let me put it in there. After danger, and gave you three of the. I don't Experiment, self note. Self note, it would uh, consume if I drink this. Not much helpful. Alright, chemical reaction. Or oh, relocation. Oh, okay. Since I'm closed, chemical or pull. Chameleon. I don't know which which. Water bassin. Water acid a day keeps the scarecrows away. Yeah, just walk up the line. That's uh, that's helpful. Acid in the morning. Refinery. My god, take a good whiff of the acid. It sure is dark in here. Yes, 
and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Take a good jug, no? I'm crystal clear. All right. that nope 22nd of June 1839 it's been more than a month since my last entry after the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria professor Herbert insisted I return to England he said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Alright. So, orb. Was there ever a Theus orb? Well, you stop breaking bottles. Block from the other side. Wine cellar! Hello? of June 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape and texture but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Sandy, I can't move. I guess I know where I'm going. Whee!
Alright, I'm pretty sure it's time based. Maybe not. Ow. Why? Sailor! Woo! He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water summoned him as to struggle to make sense of the situation. Christ compels you. Lovely book. Of course.
Ah! Oh. So close. Place was a lot harder than I remember. At least I haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so gonna get killed. That moved. That's not creepy. What is centipede baby? Wait. 
Is that going to help my insanity? Alright. I played the fifth. Ah, oh, so peaceful. No, I think this is a good spot right here to cut it off. That's a masterpiece right there. I love it. 